Hey, Owen here, sharing a story about how and why I got so flexible as a hockey player. So if you don't know me, I actually played eight years of AAA hockey growing up, and I found myself not exactly vibing with some of the nonsense that always happened in like the dressing room. I had lots of friends and I learned a lot, but when it came to some of the nonsense and shenanigans and locker room talk and all that really came with it and that insanity, I chose to kind of separate myself. And instead, I found myself forming a new healthy habit that was seen as stretching or is now becoming my mindful mobility practice. So I always found myself more benefiting to take the time and space on my own before practices and games or any sort of those athletic events that I was really needing to stay in the flow for. So if I was able to go within and get centered and find that mind-body connection, I was able to perform so much better. And I was thriving in my sports because I had the mobility and flexibility combined with my balance and strength. So now as a student and business leader, as I prepare my mind and my body for peak performance and flow states, I know I need that strength, balance, and flexibility to have my clarity. So as I focus my awareness and know that it's the key to my creation, what I'm creating every moment, then I can really direct my mental thoughts and that energy towards what's serving me most. And although when I was younger, I might not have understood this terminology, we all understand this concept. And the information or ideas that you're taking in every moment, every day, is valuable in creating who you are. And how you choose to filter that information determines what your life becomes. So when I chose to separate myself from some of that nonsense and dive deep into some self-care and mindset work and the rest and recovery routines that led to me becoming me, that's when I actually felt on myself. And I maintained this sense of knowing who I am while creating some of the movement patterns that I have today. So really one of the main lessons I took from that experience was doing something that's unique in your own or different can can sometimes serve you better than anything else. And if you're looking to maintain that momentum and find that state of clarity within yourself in every moment that you can, then you have to give yourself the space to open up to inspiration because that's essential to receiving the daydreams and following the path of most allowance. So if you want to continue to dance down that path of most allowance without constantly battling the resistance about life, about yourself, about others, then choose to let go. Let go of the things that aren't serving you and surrender to this knowing of who you really are and who you want to become then you can really start to see your thought patterns and witness the ones that are harming you. And then with caring about how you feel, all you have to do is create a routine or thought patterns or a rhythm in your life that distracts the busyness of the mind so you can reset to this positive mindset. That's why mindful mobility is the key for people who are especially feeling some of that tension in the body that's not allowing them to release in the mind. Because you can really open up your heart physically, open up your body and release and find stillness. And that's what really leads to your energy being expressed more clearly. Whether it be in sport, in your work, in your life and relationships, all of your passions and patterns are going to be more productive when you feel more free and in the flow. So if this resonated with you, and if you're interested in learning how to let go, then reach out, have a conversation, and see how you can continue moving through life, feeling better and better, and actually moving more and more. Mindfully, peacefully, with that flexibility and freedom is who we really are. So thanks for listening to my story, and stay tuned for more flow states and high-performance habits to help you level up your life.